Good morning. This is Sung Gook Kim from KAIST. The topic is processing memory in high bandwidth memory architecture with energy efficient and low latency channel for high bandwidth system. This work focuses on system level integration and channel design for energy efficiency and low latency. Here is what I will introduce about our research. As an introduction, the proposed the PIM HPM architecture will be shown. And we talk about energy efficiency and low latency channel design. After that, we will verify energy efficiency and latency of the proposed architecture. Here is the introduction. As various AI application development, AI algorithm, and big data is continuously increasing. As shown in figure, hidden layer of deep neural network is extremely increased by 20 times for more accurate models, and global data sphere is over 20 gigabytes through various data sources. In this trend, demands of high computing performance and high bandwidth system is strongly required for AI. GPU accelerator is widely used for AI application based on the parallel processing with high bandwidth memory. As shown in left, in AI algorithm, input layer is large and parallel data through the simple MAC application, MAC operation, hidden and output ledger is calculated. In each layer, all MAC operation is independent, so it is possible to compute in parallel. As shown in light, thousands of core in GPU GPU compute one layer in parallel. Also, a large amount of core sh should access 3DM at once for a data. That's why the GPU requires high, high bandwidth memory. This slide shows why the HPM is widely adopted. As shown in the figure, HPM is three stack GRAM with through silicon beer and integrating process and GRAM on one package using silicon interposure. There is two main ideas in HBAN. One is vertical integration with TSB. By vertical integration, the HBM reduces the GRAM column energy by reduced channel. The other is short fine pitch IO channel. Fine pitch interposure channel provides 256 gigabyte per second data bandwidth with low speed. Also, when compared to OPCH DRAM, short interpose channel extremely reduced DRAM IU channel by low channel capacity and no termination. This graph is comparison between HBM and GDDR5. HBM not only provides full time data bandwidth of GDDR5, but also reduced the 40% of energy consumption by closer DRAM to, to GPU. However, in spite of advanced memory, the <clears throat> data movement energy is still expensive. This graph shows energy consumption of each compound for protein point operation. First part is computing operation, second and third part is on-chip interconnect and GM energy. As the transistor scaling, operating energy is rapidly decreased, but on-chip interconnect and GM is DRAM energy is slowly reduced. In other words, data movement consumes more energy than compute, op compute operation. The HBAN has dramatically reduced the energy consumption by cross the DRAM to processor. However, as the process size is continuously increasing, the data, mov data movement energy by interconnect trail limit performance scaling. In order to overcome this bottleneck, one of the promising approaches is processing memory architecture, PIM. The PIM is a moving and integrating processing unit in the memory to reduce data movement energy. As shown in figure, in conventional DRAM, for computation, all data must be fetched to processors and stored in memory. In other words, data movement energy is very high. In case of PIM architecture, there are processing unit in the memory so data movement is low due to the cross of memory. Therefore, the main idea of PIM is that major computation is done on processor and some computation is uploading to PIM with low energy consumption. 
this research, this research proposed the PIM architecture based on the HBM. The, the main concept is to embed in processing unit into a logic type of HBM. So there, there are two types of core. One is the PIM core embedded in HBM. The other one is the GP core in the processor. To access through them, host core access through the long on-chip channel and interpol channel, but the PIM core access through only short on-channel, on-chip channel. By reduction in the question length, the PIM core consume not only low data move energy, but also low latency than GPU cores. Therefore, by offloading high <coughs> QRAM access application to PIM, our system efficiency can be improved. Next, we talk about what is the PIM core. Here is the block diagram of GPU and the proposed PIM HBM. The GPU has a 80 streaming multiprocessor SM. Each SM is interconnected to L2 cache and memory controller through the on chip channel, and then memory controller access DRAM through the silico interposer channel. In our architecture, the PIM core is assumed to be two streaming multiprocessor. This figure shows the streaming multiprocessor in PIM cores. SM has a control part as scheduler and dispatcher, large of the processing unit as 32-bit floating point and 64-bit floating tensors and private cache. So general purpose can be possible in PIM core. This slide show overall design of the proposed PIM HPM and GPU. Blue is PIM core in, and red is GPU core. Also, on the channel is solid and on interpose channel is dashed line. As shown in PIM HPM, a total four PIM core can be embedded in the root die, considering the area of each HPM component. And four PIM HPM has a for equivalent computation of GPU. The channel length to access 3DM can be obtained through the designed dimension. GPU core has 24 mm on chip channel through cache and memory controller and 4.8 mm interpol channel. And PIM core has only 6 mm on chip channel. Consequently, the total interconnection length is extremely decreased from 28.2 to six millimeter. So it reduces the data mode energy extremely. Previously, we talked about the total interconnection length of the proposed PMH architecture. Another important point is channel design because channel design determine energy and latency per unit length. This is on-chip channel design. All physical all physical dimension is design considering chip processor. And as shown in figure, signal is routing between power, ground, grid to reduce cluster. In case of the on chip channel, channel should be repeated up to the 24 millimeter because of high channel resistance. As repeated test increase, actual time is decreased, but energy consumption is increased by past capacity of drive. In our setup, 1.5 mm per repeat is optimal channel length for 3 gigabit, gigabit signaling. This slide shows design of an interpol channel. In case of the interpol channel, chance channel length is fixed to 4.8 mm. And loudability is important because 1,000 channels should be routed within small, small space. Conventional four audio stack up use micro strip and stream for loud, streamline for routing. So channels have a high capacity because streamline and channel width. The proposed three audio stack stack up is right for reducing channel capacity. This reduces width and space by half for, for one signal layer routing and thickness is of channel is double to compensation for compensate for high resistance. This take up only use micro microstrip structure with small width. Therefore this reduce channel capacity by 25%. 
Based on design channel, we conduct two kinds of simulation. One is eye diagram series channel for signal integrity. The other one is pi simulation for energy and latency. The ROG model of each channel is extracted by 3D electromagnetic server. One chip channel length is 1.5 mm, which is one stage repeated channel. The hit rate is 3 gigabps at one voltage swing. In case of interport channel, data rate is 2 gigabps at 1.2 voltage swing, and ESC and PET is model as capacitor. Drive strength and capacitor of ESD and PET are designed based on the JEDEC standard of HBM. This is a diagram as PI simulation research. As shown in figure, on chip channel is more RT dominant and crosstalk is low because signal is latest between power ground, power ground grid. There is more there is more crosstalk in interpol channel. That's because all signal is micro streamline, which have higher crosstalk, but both channels have a sufficient I margin. Also, based on signal integrity. We calculate the channel latency and energy using spice simulation, spice simulation in the table. Based on the simulated latency and energy per bit, data movement cost of GPU HBM and proposed PIM HBM can be calculated. Considering total interconnect length, the, GP, the conventional GPU HBM consists of 60 stage on 60 stage of on chip channel on average and and the uh, interpose channel and the pin hbm consists of only four stage of on chip channels as a result the proposed pin hbm architecture successfully achieved 77 percent low latency and 79 percent low energy than conventional gpu hbm this research is mainly, mainly came from reduction of interconnection lengths. This last show impact of reduced data move costs on system performance. Interconnection power is evaluated by switching factors and calculate energy per bit and total bandwidth. We assume other power is the uh, other power is the maximum power of GPU HPM minus the interconnect power and same in the proposed PIM HPM. As shown in figure, conventional GPU HPM consumed 50% of total power at interconnect. By reducing interconnection, the proposed PIM HPM decreased total power, power consumption about 30 watts at 1 terabyte per second. Also, we will evaluate future 4 terabyte system. Since interconnection power is linear to data bandwidth, the proposed PIM HBM is only satisfied with 4 terabytes per second system on the conventional GPU power limit. In case of latency, the reduced latency by channels doesn't affect system performance because the DRAM command cycle is more dominant. Therefore, in spec of the power, the PIM HBM should be applied for over 4 terabytes per second by terabyte per second system. This slide shows pre stacked 3D PIM HPM with cooling methods for future direction. The presented PIM HPM is a 2.5D solution based on the circle interposal. As mentioned in the uh, presentation, the limitation of 2.5D solution is lower computing ability due to the small number of cores. That means <coughs> This slide show fully stacked 3D PIM HPM with cooling method for future direction. Presented the PIM HPM is 2.5D solution based on the circuit portal. As mentioned in presentation, the limitation of 2.5 solution is a lower computing compute ability due to the small number of PIM core. That means safety plans of Computation is done on GPU with high data rate, high data movement cost. As shown in figure, not using interposal, fully stacked 3D PIM HPM approach extremely reduced data movement cost of GPU by vertical interconnection. 
However, Solomon is a major impedance for 3D solution. Therefore, in the future, 3D PIM HPM recalling methods such as Solomon TSB and TP TPB and liquid fluid cooling should be adopted for ultra high bandwidth system. This is conclusion. The HBM has a had achieved high bandwidth and energy efficiency through the crossover DRAM to GPU. However, as the size of GPU increases, the on-chip interconnection consume large amount of energy due to the data movement. This research proposed a PIM HBM, which is crossover GPU to DRAM, and successfully verified reduction of energy consumption and latency. Therefore, the proposed method with optimal interconnection design will be promising solution for the next generation high bandwidth system. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you.